so uh, just be pulling out uh, off to our left. Just want to follow me. Basically, we're going to utilize this little uh, runway here um, to kind of show off the dynamic radar cruise control. So to get you set up, I'm just going to have you follow me over here. We're going to line the vehicles up. If you'll just line the center of the Prius up behind the center of the Sienna here. One car length spacing, leaving the car in drive. No, nope, come on, that's good. That was good where you were. That's fine. So just leave the car in the drive. And if All right. So what we're going to do is experience a dynamic radar cruise control today. As you see in our MID or multi-information display, we've already um, gotten to the screen for the dynamic radar cruise. So uh, for all Toyota Lexus products, the cruise control is in the same spot. The lower right hand side of your uh, cruise control stock uh, is where you will uh, turn that on and off. So go ahead and hit that for me, it push on. You just say some legal stuff, right? Use it only on the expressway. Okay. I'm just going to reverse out of there. To set dynamic radar cruise control, all you'll do is do what it says. You just hit down on the stock. So now you'll see it says, hey, I recognize that vehicle in front of me. I'm going to give you the maximum preset distance of three car length spacings or something thereof. Um, but you know what? We need a little more drama in our life than that today. So let's reduce that down to one. Go ahead and do that. So now minimum of one spacing. It also says waiting 28 miles per hour. What is that all about? Basically any Toyota Lexus product that has dynamic radar cruise control, it's going to start you at 28 miles per hour. It's up to you to bump the speed up. Um, on your own. And you do but, it like here. Exactly. But for this demonstration, we're just going to keep the 28 miles per hour. That's oh, good okay. enough for us. So I'll get you started. I'm going to get you up to 28. I'm going to slow you down to 15, back up to 28. And then I'm going to slow you all the way down to zero because that's the new thing with the Prius. It can be brought to a complete stop in dynamic radar cruise control. So a couple things I need to talk you through on how we're going to do this. Um, one is how am I going to get into motion, okay? Uh, so basically you're going to let off the brake and you're going to take this con cruise control stock and you're going to hit it up or resume. You're not touching the gas at all. The vehicle will take off in motion on its own. It will match my speed depending on what I do. And then when I bring you to complete stop, I'm gonna ask you to once again over the radio, hit your cruise control stock up for resume to bring the vehicle back into motion. So when it's stopped, do I have to hit the throttle to start again? That's basically what okay. I'm saying, yes. Yeah, so there's okay. two different yeah, ways yeah, okay, to yeah. set it. You, like there. you could use the throttle to tap it and it would come, it would take over, but we're gonna teach in this exercise that you can use the resume and never have to use the gas. Okay, cool. So that's what we'll do. So you'll let off the brake when I tell you and you're just gonna hit the up on your control cruise control stop. All right, so I'm gonna let off of my brake now, start to inch forward, so if you'll let off of your brake and now go ahead and hit up on the control stop, should bring the vehicle into motion. All right, so that's definitely radar cruise control. I can tell the way it uh, takes off that it is driving, so um, I will be getting you up to 20 miles per hour. There is 28, so I'm gonna hold for a second so you get a feel for the distance. I'm gonna slow you down gradually to 15 miles per hour. There's 15, bringing you back up to 28. And we're gonna do light braking on the way up and harsh braking on the way back. So there's 28, I'm gonna bring you all the way down to zero, nice and easy. Okay, so there's stopped. I'm letting off my brake, and then now let off your brake. Three, two, one, hit up on your con cruise control stock to get the vehicle back into motion. There you go. So that's the basics for radar cruise control. If I moved out of the way, you'd start going 28 miles per hour all the way to the end of the runway. You'd probably crash into that barrier, so let's not do that. Let's go ahead and uh, use the gas and the brake. So you're now in control. So cover the gas and the brake, and we're going to turn around start going the other way so again you need to control the gas and the brake and control uh, and bring the vehicle back around on this time on the way back we're gonna do harsh braking but to get you set up just pull up just like you did you're gonna hit down on the control stock to set it look in your MID say 28 miles per hour waiting thumbs up for that Yes, okay, yep. so I'm letting off my gas now, so you let off your gas and hit resume up on your cruise control stock to start moving, which you've done. All right, so here we go. So 
there's around 20 miles per hour. I'm going to do harsh braking down to 15 in 3, 2, 1. Harsh braking to 15. There's 15. Back up to 28. Now I'm basically going to do a panic stop, okay? A basic panic stop in 3, 2, 1. Complete panic stop. I'll wait for you to rock backwards. You've done that. So now you'll let off the brake. Three, two, one, up on your cruise control stop should bring the vehicle back into motion. And that's the basics for dynamic radar cruise control. In my opinion, uh, the feature function benefit for that is really just reducing stress and driver fatigue um, while they're going on 405 freeways or commutes, you know, through Miami, big cities, things like that definitely think could reduce some stress and driver fatigue with that. So, uh, if you're satisfied with the demo, take a thumbs up.